Welcome to Below the Skirt with Tamara. Hi, my name is Tamara Green and I am a pelvic physical therapist. I help women like you overcome that uncontrolled bladder, return to that also pleasurable sex and manage your pregnancy symptoms so you can become a what postpartum champion. So I am going to be discussing today IBS, Irritable Bowel Syndrome. Have you seen commercials like that, IBS? You may say, oh, well, what is that? Well, it's something that affects the GI system. We'll say the intestines and how you feel. So you may say, well, how do I know? What are my symptoms to know if I have that? So if you know of anyone that's dealing with that, maybe you're dealing with it, definitely tag them to this video so they can see and be informed because guess what? Knowledge is what? Knowledge is power. So what are some things, what are some symptoms that you may notice if you're having IBS? You may notice you're having bloatedness, gas, just feel like your stomach is just always full. You may feel like you may feel like you have urinary infrequency, having to go to the restroom all the time. Painful sex could be a part of it. You may be saying, why is that? I'm gonna go in great detail with Virginia, my girl who's always here. You may be having chronic pelvic pain, and you could have low back pain. So as you see right here. Within the pelvis, you have, and we're going to discuss more or less the rectum. So within the abdominal area, within the ab um, intestines, you have your rectum, one of the pelvic organs that sit inside of the pelvic floor, it sits here. So with being in there, what happens? You can have different types of IBS. You may, or someone you may know, may have constipation. Difficulty going to the restroom, straining to go to the restroom. You may have diarrhea where it's, it's loosey-goosey. It is coming out whoosh, nonstop. And, or you can have a combination where you can fluctuate between being constipated and also having the diarrhea. So with that being said, your symptoms can definitely range. So with you, if you're here, if you have the rectum, and if you if you sat with me before and watched any of the videos that I've done in the past, you know right here, this is your bladder, and then right behind your bladder, you have your your uterus, which is the vaginal opening, and then you'll have the rectum. So if you're having issue, if you're having constipation, bowel is being consumed inside of the rectum, it can put pressure, it causing urinary frequency pressure towards the bladder, making you feel like you have to go very often. Low back pain. These organs sit, the intestines sit right here in front of the lumbar spine. Discomfort, tightness in the muscles, that can cause low, could be a component of low back pain. Pelvic pain. This all sits in the pelvic girdle. With that being said, you just feel pressure, discomfort. With pain, discomfort. So you just have that pelvic pain. Or you may say, hey, I am just having difficulty. I feel pressure, discomfort when I'm having sex. So again, with those symptoms that I've named, when it comes to what you could have, what you could see when you would have irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, those are the, some of the symptoms you may notice. Now, what can cause it? So it's not really, it's a diagnosis that's kind of like, they don't know what really, really caused it, because, but they do know there's many things that can exacerbate or stir up some of your symptoms. It could be stress. Stress can cause, stress, you might as well put stress with everything. Stress can cause a problem with any and everything. Stress is a big component when it comes to IBS. Poor dieting. I, I have, um, with working with patients in the past, I have noticed They'll come in and with having IBS, they're stating like, you know, I'm like, what are, you, what are you eating? What are you taking in? That is always the first and foremost thing that we do when we attack or try to work on managing the symptoms when it comes to IBS. What, is, what, is your, what are you taking in? Because if you're someone is having constipation symptoms, you need to make sure you're having more fiber in your diet. If you're someone that is dealing with diarrhea, then, again, there may be certain, certain foods that you're doing that may increase having diarrhea. So just being aware of what you're consuming and not just say, hey, oh, I'm just going to have this. Be mindful. 
try it. Try different foods. If you are trying different foods and you notice that, hey, when I eat broccoli or when I eat leafy foods, I tend to have diarrhea. Or if I eat more bread or things that doesn't have as much fiber, I notice I'm more constipated. Then again, as I've done in a previous video, sometimes you just have to peel back that onion to figure out what is best for you and your body. Because some, you could be one day having constipation, and one another day you could be having diarrhea. Again, just being mindful of what you're taking in. You may say, well, you know what, I am not, I don't drink a lot of water, or I, I don't intake the proper fluids that I need. Well, if you're dealing with constipation, you have IBS, decrease in your fluid intake, what's going to happen? You're going to be dry like a desert, and it's going to make it harder for your waste to come through that colon and get to exit out of your body. So again, we may have these different diagnoses like IBS, but there's ways that we can manage it to have a better quality of life. And some of the choices that we're doing, not saying it's right or wrong, but just being educated about what what's going on, that will help you manage your symptoms. So what are some things that you can do to help manage the symptoms of IBS, first of all, you need to consult a GI doctor. Seeing someone who specializes when it comes to the GI system. Now, they may prescribe to you some type of medication if your situation is very um, severe. They may say, you know, hey, take just a, pro, a probiotic. That could be an option. Definitely pelvic physical therapy will definitely help. Those are things that I and other pelvic therapists speak, see clients for if they're specializing in that area. Now, when it comes to that, you may say, well, what is physical therapy? What is pelvic? Not just physical therapy. What does pelvic physical therapy? How can that help with it? So if, you're, if, if things are tight, things are not moving how they need to, we do a lot of a manual work working on mobilization of the abdominal region. Depending upon, we can do some visceral if you're certified in that, but a lot of manual work to help with getting things going, flowing, doing those colon massages. Check out a video that I've done before, doing those colon massages to get sometimes that sluggish gut going. Um, definitely working on, like you may say, well, you know, we're not, first of all, we're not nutritionists. You need to see a nutritionist too, if you really, really are struggling with your ch your food choices, but just as a, a pelvic physical therapist, we can say, hey, what are you eating? Let's look at a log. Let's see what you're taking, what you're inputting, what you're putting in. Mm, if you're having constipation versus diarrhea, you may need to look at foods in this range, giving you a general idea of what foods you should stay away from and what foods you should possibly partake in. But then getting specialization if you need other levels of assistance or higher level that's above our, you know, within our, making sure that we stay in our lane, right? We all have to stay in our lane. You may need to speak with the nutritionist when it comes to that. Now, exercising it is so key. Have you ever had surgery before? And if you've had surgery or know someone that's had surgery, what do they do when before they're getting discharged from the hospital? The doctors want you to move, right? They want you to move. They want you move. Moving helps with the gut. When you move, what happens? You have to pass the gas far in. You got to do any and everything. Is things are moving, right? That is the same thing. So if you're having an issue with your 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 GI system specifically when it comes to IBS. Walking, exercising, doing movement, movement will help with it. And it's, you have to look at this as a whole pie, right? There's different slices when it comes to this pie. What are you taking in? What are you pouring into yourself? Is stress influencing it? Is it just being inactive, right? But then there's some other things that is not all of your control. Sometimes there's issues with bacteria. So there's many different things as well. But these are the things that I feel that is really, that's within more of our control and our awareness and being mindful of what's going on with our body as we take care of this vessel to do so we can have the better quality of life that we're looking for. 
So just want to let you know this stuff is common. I'll give you an example. I've had a patient in the past. Her issue, IBS. Hers was constipation, periodically diarrhea, painful sex, right? Low back pain, all working within the same thing. So with that, we have to peel those situations back layer by layer to figure out what the problem is and how we can manage it in a conservative way. And that's the beautiful thing when it comes to pelvic physical therapy. It is conservative. There's no medicine. It is you taking control of you. And you, our body can do a lot if we work with it, if we train it, if we discipline it. And that is what pelvic therapy can do to help your situation. So if you're dealing with that, if you're if you're in the city here near Charleston, I would love to work with you. Or if you're wherever you are and you're dealing with that and you've been to the GI doctor, you're taking medications, you're doing things that you need to do based on what you've been provided, but you've never tried pelvic physical therapy, I would reach out to a pelvic physical therapist near you to be able to help manage those symptoms that you deserve and that you're looking for so you can have the quality of life that you deserve. So thank you for tuning in to with me, Tamara Green with Below the Skirt with Tamara.